the bottom, we've got the orange noob cake. Along with his partner, the green noob cake, both Terran players. So we'll have Terran Terran versus the Zerg player in the top left from Team Wizards as the red Zerg. In the top, we've got the blue Terran from Team Wizards. So it's going to be a ZZ, or a TT rather, versus CT on Boneyard. Is he just like a bit of a troll and picks Terran at the last second? Because he's basically been getting Terran every time except for once. I have not noticed that, but it would not surprise me, considering their track record. <laughs> considering their track record. Yeah. yeah, not too clean of a track record. We've known them for a couple hours, and already... We... I feel like I know them pretty well. Same here. <laughs> uh, but either way, Walloff's uh, beginning here from the Noob Cake team. Of course, uh, Team Wizards also starting. They don't quite have the luxury of two Terran players to help with that Walloff. No super early pool. Uh, we'll see if he wants to go for that uh, hatchery first, which uh, teams do seem to be favoring on this map. Certainly a solid way to go. Couldn't agree more about that. I know if I was playing on this map, I would hatch first, no matter what my opponents were doing, and if I lost, I would blame my partner for not falling off. Even if he was a Zerg, I'd still blame him. And we are seeing... 14 drones, and he looks like he is stockpiling those minerals. There goes the drone, gonna take that extra hatchery, and with the early scouts, not too early, but early enough, gonna scout the right location first. The green noob cake is gonna see everything, and I imagine he'll move it down to the expansion to just make sure that the Zerg is expanding. He's, he's got to assume. <laughs> he's got to assume that the Zerg is expanding, and a little bit of chatter going on there. Players should, of course, be on busy test test, but uh, anyway, uh, has he actually seen the hatchery? I mean, I don't know if he kind of assumes it, but you do kind of want to pop down there and uh, there he goes. take a look. Uh, meanwhile, a second barracks up for Noob Cake, whereas a second barracks also up for the other Noob Cake and no command center, so what do, you, do you think we're going to see just uh, kind of all in coming out here? Yeah, like these what? guys are on tilt. They just want to get it over with, try to do something crazy. But uh, as I say that, a bunker going down for Team Wizards. And if Noobcake does indeed just go for some kind of bio push, something ridiculous like that, I, I don't think it's going to work too well. Yeah, I don't I don't really see that working too well either. Um, you never know, though. Uh, we'll see. It. it really... Oh, SCV's coming off the line here, so... Oh, incoming. Boy. A little bit by bit style attack, and this bunker gonna be done. And look at this, actually already two additional SCVs down here ready to repair. Uh, a couple of SCVs for New King trying to get a little uh, preemptive action done might be a bit of a waste there. And uh, it's gonna be a lot of SCVs, a lot of Marines here. But as long as Team Wizards responds well, they should uh, really be able to kind of eat this for dinner. Yeah, the SCV is now retreating. They realize they have minerals in their hand, and if they died, those minerals would go to the uh, the other team. Oh, actually. Take that back. There they go again. I don't know what these guys want to do. They only have a combined force of 11 Marines against... Okay, make that 10. <laughs> I can stay bunker <laughs> with 4 Marines in it. And they have 6 SCVs. Yeah, there's no SCVs waiting at the bunker anymore. But, um, I mean, look at these orange SCVs. They're going back again. Here comes the green uh, ones. <laughs> oh, the green ones are going to go in. They're going to die a little bit here. And this is uh, not an effective way to all-in. If you want to see how to do all-in better, I suggest, uh, I think it's GSL Season 2. You can check out some games by bit by bit. But uh, they have not uh, they have not done their homework here. This is not how you all-in with your SCVs. And uh, they're in pretty bad shape right now. I don't recommend this strategy at all. And they are already dancing their Marines, perhaps a sign of hopelessness. Uh, I can't imagine what their <laughs> dancing the brains under the overlord. Can't imagine what their team communication sounds like right now. I don't know if they have uh, a call going up, but if they did, the, you'd be able to listen in on that. Now patrolling some marines, and this is turning into a giant fiasco, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, depending on how you look at it. That's true. We do have that command center coming up as well for Team Nuke here, so they're going to go ahead and take their in base oh. stance and. Oh, he gets it. Get in main, and that is a lot of them. Will they be able to get the surf here they need, though? A lot of them not attacking, but they are eating the green marines for dinner, but I think there is enough of these orange marines uh, to actually be able to clean that up. <laughs> and the dancing, dancing. <laughs> Oh, man. That's what happens when you have uh, an open bracket, I suppose, for, <laughs> for any kind of tournament. <laughs> Your players dancing their asses off, uh... 
What's the supply yep. looking like? 36-42, 31-25, pretty hefty supply lead. Uh, the most important part about this game is uh, the amount of time these two players spent with their <laughs> SCVs off the minerals. Crackfields just called me a snake. And uh, the, the expansion, of course, that Team Wizards has had for quite a while now. Uh, taking a pretty secure Harvester lead. They're up by about 15 Harvesters total. Yeah, and I mean, he did make a lot of lings, really. Um, because I think he was expecting that all in to actually come, as opposed to just sit in the middle of the map for half the game. So, I mean, he's still going to be able to pull ahead so far with workers. And he is getting, of course, his lair, too, so... We'll see. I think a muta feed might be great, but we are seeing a ton of factories coming up as well, and it looks like this guy is not too impressed with uh, these Zerglings, and continuing to dance his marines after... I, I missed it, but he might have killed one Ling or something. Yeah, and if you guys are just tuning in, you are watching the PTSL 2. This is not just a recreational tournament. There <laughs> is cash money on the line $750 for first place. These two teams just start, seem to be taking it pretty lightly. I don't know about you, but I could use that amount of money, but <laughs> a lot of dancing going along, uh, going uh, on and just a lot of goofing off in general. Noob cake with a very... Oh, he's actually uh, going for speed reapers here, which uh, could oh. be a little bit fun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is kind of the lower bracket here. It's a double elimination tournament, new cake. Uh, they've kind of been bizarre personalities the entire time, and maybe not taking it too seriously. Although I gotta say, Team Wizards here, I think they're taking it very seriously. I think a, I think a team who just wanted to get it over with probably would have counterattacked by now and won. But uh, they're just gonna play very safe and sit back and make more tanks and get more expansions up. And uh, I mean, as someone who has played some tournaments and whatnot, I mean, more power to them. You wanna play safe, you wanna get your win. Uh, absolutely, especially you don't want to lose to uh, two people known as Noob Cake. And I gotta say, this uh, choice to go Mass Reaper, uh, Mass Reaper is always fun, but this is a map where if you look at the main, there's like two places to get in. Uh, so it's really not a very good map for Reapers, and Reapers are a, a pretty hefty investment. And we're also seeing four, or maybe only three, starports getting built. So uh, these guys are just kind of going for probably the most asinine builds <laughs> that they can come up with. Uh, possibly for our entertainment, uh, more likely for their own entertainment. And here come the Reapers. Try and take down that tank. So many shots to just kill one tank. These Marines are going to be pushed back. The Reapers in the main, or in the gold rather. Uh, looks like they will take down a half completed building, but uh, he lost about five or so. He's going to hop down and try to find somewhere to hop up. I have a feeling he's just guessing. I doubt he even knows the geography of this map. <laughs> He just got lucky there. Now actually doing a little bit of damage, moving into the main of the blue team wizards, breaking off a couple marines and making somewhat effective use of these reapers, I guess. Yeah, I mean, but now mutas are going to start popping out and these reapers are going to go down and that was uh, a pretty hefty investment and there's actually, okay, we saw a supply drop go down and a ton of reactors on these starports. So this guy is just going to go mass marine viking off of two bases and... I mean, if you get a critical mass of Vikings, they are actually good against Mutas because the Mutas, you know, get, you know, hit by a volley before they actually engage. Um, but this is just kind of getting dumb, I'm not going to lie. Yes, this is, it's already turned into the end of last game. We already know who's going to win. We've seen enough dancing, you guys. Come on now, just send in all your forces. A move, I don't care. Now let's get on to the real matches because this is ridiculous. Yeah, coming up after this will be Team EP versus Techno Vikings, and both of those teams actually pretty serious 2v2 players, I believe, so uh, that that should definitely be a, an interesting series for more than just the possible uh, comedy aspect of this one here. Now, six, uh, three starports with three reactors. I feel like you can't quite fund that. Why would you say that? <laughs> With what he's got. No, he needs. he's getting two more star points, oh, okay. and then he's going to be on five. I mean, well, he might not be producing from these, but the thing is... Okay, there he goes, now producing. The thing is, you might want to get some Banshees, and it's a lot of work to actually switch your add-ons, so if you just build dedicated tech labs, then, you know, you can get whatever you want. A little bit easier. Yeah, he's got, he's got two tech labs. Looks like he is starting that combat shields there um, for his uh, 18 oh Marines. Uh, a bit overdue, 14 minute mark, but, you know, I, I'm not a Terran player. Who am I to judge? Who's well, good? five starports and five barracks off of two bases is 
It's it's not standard, but one day it will be. Um, one day. Some clever wordplay there. It looks like Team yep. Wizard's blocking off that expansion that Team Noobcake was probably not planning to take. Uh, blocking it off with that engineering bay. Vikings actually uh, being pretty effective. Flying back to the support of the Marines while getting a couple shots on those mutas, picking off one or two of them. Oh boy, now he's, they're setting up the contain with some bunkers. If you notice in the northeast of the map, they each have an additional expansion while Team Noobcake still just running off two base and one base with mass Vikings. Yeah, he is being uh, very proactive with his Vikings. I'm sure he's very proud of uh, what they've done. Looks like he'll pick off uh, another overseer. And finally, some turrets are going to get built here after these bunker finish, a uh, pretty essential part of a contain. And uh, the question is just how long is this going to take exactly? <laughs> that, uh, that is what I'm wondering. I'm sure that's what a lot of the viewers here are wondering because, uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty hard to win when uh, you do this. The orange player just continuing to make reapers. I think he might possibly be feeding... I don't see how else this guy could be making so many Vikings and so many, uh... Well, I guess he's not making any infantry right now, but... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's, uh... My thoughts exactly. We do have four Reapers hanging across the bottom of the map, and they'll be doing what they can, and... Team Wizards, they're not... They're not taking any chances. They're saying, you know what, we're going to round two of the open bracket. Actually, the finalists from the last PTSL were from the, the lower bracket, so... I, I mean... Team Wizards, like, I really think they're a very solid team. It's it's unfortunate they they have to stoop to the level of uh, <laughs> playing this goofy match here with uh, with good old fashioned Noob Cake. Noob Cake, the Combat X and Rats Deezers of two v twos, apparently only not nearly as skillful. Prolonging a game that has long since been over. A couple of Reapers doing some damage. Uh, Five kills and four kills, and Mutas need to send every single Muta back to deal with that one Reaper with 16 HP. Down it goes. After Takes it out. Shots and <laughs> down Sick. it goes. Meanwhile, a couple Cloak Banshees in the front are unable to actually penetrate the turret and bunker line. A very uh, surprising result right there. And uh, Zerg player getting close to maxed out his Terran ally at 138 supply. Um, our orange player here sitting comfortably at 37 supply. He's been struggling to break that 40 supply barrier for for quite a while. His uh, his ally actually is at 191 supply. Wow. And he is moving out. Actually, this could be somewhat entertaining. <laughs> oh my massive goodness! Massive doom drop. <laughs> oh man, gonna stop for a second, take out this overlord, and uh, we'll see. I if he should at least do some damage here. This is actually a lot of units. Yeah, it is. It is. There's no siege uh, tanks up here in this area. There are a lot of mutas, a lot of marines. One meta because it hasn't even unloaded. I can't really tell what's happening, but I have a feeling uh, <laughs> new cakes getting slaughtered, and that's exactly what's happening. But those banshees cloaked, cleaned up with the scan. And I have to ask: Is this losers bracket best out of three or best of five? I think it's the best of seven. You're kidding me. <laughs> Dude, it's the best of three. <laughs> You're <now>. kidding me. <laughs> We have to sit through this two more times with these these guys. And they're calling the um, uh, it, it is a bit unfortunate that Team Wizards doesn't want to just you know take their units. This is what you do: you you make a big box around all your units, and then you click 